Wellness Seekers, thanks for popping in to Living Elevated. My name is Maria Malik of Aroma Living by Design, and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about overcoming those emotional stresses during your day. I don't know about you, but yeah, things can be emotionally charged, and how do we get over it? Do we get over it by feeding our addictions? Do we get over it by um, just playing the tape of the thing that's bothering us? What is it? What do you do to get out of a stressful situation that's putting your body in discord? I'll tell you. I just started listening to a guy online. His name is Kyle Cease, kylecease.com, and... He's connected to something in me so strongly that I, I wanted to share that. We, we all get stressed out and we all handle it in different ways. And sometimes we think it's productive. Other times it's just pacifying something until the next trigger or the next upset. This guy Kyle talks about meditating. And not in the yoga guru, um, in a temple, om kind of meditating. Meditating to get back to you, to get back to the center. And I used to meditate. I started meditating when I was about eight years old. My parents took me to a transcendental meditation. My mom said I was, that was probably the best time of my life for her because it just kept me at that balance. So since everything I do involves essential oils, let me tell you the first way that I go to remedy some bodily discord. And that is simply by smelling an oil. I even caution sharing the name of this oil with you because currently it's out of stock and it's probably been my favorite oil for the past 15 years. The name of it is called Valor. And the reason it's out of stock is because they're waiting for the resource to harvest to create the blend. So this bottle is probably about six or seven months old and I hide it on myself because I would use it all the time. So what I would do, and what I suggest to other people to do in smelling an oil, is just breathe it in. Just breathe it in. Put on your hands, circulate your hands, spin those molecules, and just breathe it in. If you're like me, and you could be in a place that you want, I'm sitting out on my lanai right now, my favorite little corner of the lanai, listening to the waterfall and um, just bringing it down. Oils aside, you do know that you can calm yourself down and bring your back, yourself back to center just by breathing. Just a deep, deep breath. You can also bring yourself back to center by giving someone a 20 second hug. Believe it or not, it's the truth. Google it. Just two or three times. If you add oils to that already cleansing breath, oils are carriers. Remember I mentioned oils have 40 million trillion molecules in one drop. You don't have to wait for it to go through digestion. It's immediate absorption and especially going through your nasal canal, nasal canal, nose canal, nostrils, and you can bring it down a notch almost instant instantaneously. But also, you need to be open, open to that immediate healing. Is it going to solve the problem at hand? Is it going to um, change your your opinion about things. It may, it may not. But all I know is that we only have that moment. Are we gonna spend it 
engaging in some kind of an addiction, whether, and here are all the usuals, alcohol, drugs, um, porn, uh, gambling, shopping. Now we have social media, um, controlling people. Thing, these are all addictions. Having to be right all the time, having to force your opinion, those are all addictions, things that we do that keep us bottled up and tight. And I talk about all these remedies. These are things that I actually do. And it takes literally five seconds to do it. I have all kinds of oils. I have sacred frankincense. I have one called humility. I have pine, pine. All these scents elicit good feelings and good emotions because they're oxygenating your brain right out of the gate. All your cells, your blood, are taking them and circulating throughout your body. You don't have to wait for digestion. It takes just as much effort to open a bottle of oil and drop it in your hand and smell it as it does for you to open a bottle of Xanax, go get a glass of water, and take it. That probably takes even longer. Let's not think about remedying everything with a pill or remedying everything with something else that's going to get you away from what it is you actually need to feel. Because when you feel it and you allow it, then it just goes away. If you feel it and you hold on to it and you stew over it and you force it down and you try and back away and go against it, it's going to stay there stronger. I got peace and calming, grapefruit, cedar wood. You can smell any one of these oils that just makes you feel good. Who cares? how much good it's going to do in the rest of your body because it's going to happen organically, spontaneous, just by you smelling it. Can you OD on smelling too many of these oils? Come on now. Really? They're plants. Each plant is like a puzzle piece. A puzzle piece that your body needs to move forward in a balanced and energetic way. They're cleaning receptor sites. They're igniting cells, interaction and communication. Only good could come from that. So I just got done meditating for an hour. Yeah, I took an hour out of my afternoon because I couldn't afford not to do that. And how much are you worth it? You can spend an hour scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, or whatever social media app you're addicted to. You know you're on there for five minutes, and next thing you know, it's an hour later. Why not do that dedicated to yourself? Another cool thing is my friend Lori made me this fun knitted bracelet. And, of course, the first thing that I think of is, oh my gosh, it's a diffuser. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to plop oils all over this fun little bracelet. So if I don't have time to go separate myself from a group of people, I can just lift my arm to bring myself back to center and inhale it. Why are we making things so difficult? Why are we looking out there for all the solutions when you can bring it back to center just by being still and quiet and allowing? So I have a giveaway, hence my giveaway bag. And by the way, I'm kind of annoyed that no one's even messaged me to get my address to send me some fun earrings. I already have a supply of fun earrings, but wouldn't it be fun for me to shout out your name and to send you some oil goodness? I don't know why, but 
I'm really wanting some fun earrings so that I can just um, have more fun with you. So today I wrote my hashtags down so I don't forget them and I have three giveaways. The first person to write hashtag breath is life you are going to get this fun book welcome to essential oils and really if you don't have an interest in it and you just wanted to win something then give it to someone who is interested and someone who wants to make a change and wants to feel better in just a breath okay so that was the first one hashtag breath is life the second one is for people who want to get on board with this oil infused aroma life with aroma family this has tips and tricks and recipes and um, some knowledge about essential oils and how it can benefit you and your family so hashtag ready to elevate you're going to win this book and you never know what other treats I might send along so you might as well do it and then finally my third one hashtag molecules of goodness you're gonna get a sample of four oils and a special gift of mine one of my I am stones that is just a reminder to honor the I am within you that gives you breath that gives you life that makes you one with you and the world thanks for dropping in thanks for listening thanks for opening your hearts your minds to something that can bring you pure joy balance and goodness my name is Marie Malik and I'm just a mom